U.S. and Canadian warships sailed through the Taiwan Strait on Sunday, almost a week after China held massive war games around Taiwan. The destroyer USS Higgins and the Canadian frigate HMCS Vancouver made a routine transit of the Taiwan Strait meant to uphold the principle of freedom of navigation for all countries, read a statement Monday by the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet. The U.S. Navy, occasionally joined by ships from allied countries, regularly transits the sensitive waterway separating China from Taiwan. China condemned the maneuver, saying it undermined peace and stability in the region. China claims Taiwan as its own territory. China's People's Liberation Army's Eastern Theater Command said it mobilized naval and air forces to monitor the transit of the U.S. and Canadian ships, in accordance with the law. The transiting ships navigated through waters where high seas freedom of navigation and overflight apply in accordance with international law, read the U.S. Navy 7th Fleet Statement. The international community's navigational rights and freedoms in the Taiwan Strait should not be limited, it added. It comes after China conducted large-scale military exercises surrounding Taiwan and its outlying islands last Monday, simulating the sealing off of key ports in a move that underscores the tense situation in the Taiwan Strait. Western intelligence agencies suspect that main directorate of the Russian intelligence sent incendiary packages that caught fire before they were loaded onto planes in Leipzig and Birmingham cities in Germany and UK respectively. The incidents occurred in July. The packages containing incendiary substances somehow passed security inspections. German authorities warned this week that a plane could have been downed if the devices, which were both sent by air, had ignited in flight. German intelligence service chief Thomas Haldenwang told German MPs the package would have resulted in a crash if it had caught fire mid-flight. According to the intelligence services, the purpose of such actions is to intimidate Europeans and create chaos. The incidents with parcels came after MI5 boss Ken McCallum warned that Russia is intent on causing mayhem on UK streets. The security agency's director general said Britain should expect to see continued acts of aggression here at home, from Russia, with its military intelligence agency, the GRU, on sustained missions, adding, we've seen arson, sabotage and more. Brandon Fried, executive director of the Air Forwarders Association, which represents the air freight industry in the US, described the incendiary bomb incidents as disconcerting given the suspicion of Russian state involvement. It looks like the goal is simply to disrupt the supply chain, create havoc and simply to scare people. They want people to lose confidence in the system, Fried said, adding that the industry had developed robust and evolving security procedures since September 11th attack. Footage has been released of the combat operation of fighters of the Kalinovsky Regiment under the Ukrainian Army who fought for the forest strip near the village of Lipsy in eastern Kharkiv region. Fighters who came to the area in an armored vehicle managed to liberate a large advancing rapidly. Several Russian soldiers were captured during the operation. It should be noted that Lipsy was liberated by Ukraine's main intelligence directorate. The forest in the north of Lipsy was liberated by fighters of the Artin and Kraken divisions, Belarusian regiment and foreign legion units of the main intelligence directorate under the defense ministry. <laughs>